Hi, uh, I'd like to do a quick tutorial on using the tab bar controller and the navigation controller. And uh, so here I am in Xcode, and I'm going to get started with a new project here. So it says create new Xcode project, so I'll click on that. And um, there's a few ways to, to, to work with the tab bar controller. Um, you can actually just start with this tabbed application, right? Um, and, but you can actually just start with any of these. I'm going to just really give you an idea of how this works and to show you how to set it up in cases where you can't start with the tabbed application. I'm going to actually begin with the uh, single view application, okay? But again, you, you, we could have started with any of these and then turned it into a tabbed app. Okay, so I'll, I'm going to start here. I'll click next. I'll call this um, tab bar app example. How about that? Okay, and then I'll save it into my folder here called tab bar. And there we are. So the first thing we're going to do, and, and most of this app, this entire tutorial will all be done in storyboard. Okay, so I'm going to go to storyboard here. And in storyboard, I'll, you know, with the single view app, we have a single view here, right? Which is one view controller. And what I want to do is I want to have a, a tabbed view controller here. And there's a couple ways to do this. I'm, I'm going to just do it this way. It's kind of a, maybe the most extreme, but I'm just going to delete this view controller. Gone. So I just clicked on it, hit delete on the keyboard, gone. Then I'm going to go down to the list here of objects, and I'm going to find the tab bar controller right here. It's this guy. It says tab bar controller. And what I'll do is I'll drag it in here. And what you'll see is, it's hard to see on my monitor, it's pretty small there, but uh, you'll see three boxes, right? So there's two view controllers on the right side, okay? And then there's the tab bar controller on the left, okay? Right? So let me put that down there, and then you'll see here they are in the view. I'm going to zoom out, okay? And when we look at these, what's going to happen here, what you're going to realize here is that, is that this tab bar controller is kind of like a container view. We don't actually put user interface elements in here. And as a container view, what it really does is it displays one of the other view controllers. So, you know, for example, this view right here, if it's the first view that we see, imagine it as being on top here like this. And then when you click on one of the tab bar buttons, then the other view might take over and you'd see it appear here, right? Now, I can't see the, um, the tab bar icons here. Uh, for some reason, like when, it get, when you get the default one, they don't have icons assigned to them, and then the whole bar goes dark like this. Um, I don't know why that is. It's just how it works. Uh, to assign a, um, an icon to these, what you can do is you can just find the item here. Like you can see here's item 2 scene, right? Item 1 scene, and then it's got item, and that is the, the bar icon. So in the view controller, it shows the bar at the bottom with a single icon on it. But really, what you're going to see when we test the app is you're going to see all the icons lined up on the bar here. It, you'll, you'll see in a moment, OK? So uh, let's assign each one of these an icon. So it's pretty easy to do. You can just click on the icon here. Sometimes it's hard to click it there. Like, I'm having a little trouble, right? And if you can't, if you, sometimes I can click on it here, but sometimes you can't. And if you can't click it there, find it in the list view. So if you don't see that list view, open it up by clicking the little button here and then click on the item and now it's selected and then it should say tab bar item at the top and then you can pick one of the system items and if you want to import images and use them you can do that too, right? And and what you'll do is you'll um, you'll choose custom and then you can choose the selected image and the title you know, position down here from these options. But I'm going to choose one of the system items. So just to be quick, so I'll choose the more icon. There we go, right? Oh, now he's got the thing, and you can see the bar is no longer dark, right? Okay, so now let's go down and do the next one. So this guy down here, and I can't seem to click on his icon. You know, can't select it in any way. So what I'll do is I'll just click on it here, and then I'll choose favorites, okay? Oh, there we go. Now you can see over here that the tab bar controller shows the two icons on the bar, okay? Right? Over here in the view, it only shows the one icon because this is the icon that represents this view, okay? So if we want to test that, let's test it on the iPhone 6, right? What we're going to get is... 
any moment now. What we have is a, oh, you know, I got one mistake. It says, uh, let's fix that, right? We got an error. Okay, that's what we get, right? So it says tab, uh, tab bar app example failed to instantiate the default view controller for main. Perhaps the designated entry point is not set. And remember when I deleted that original view and the original view that's in here, it has a little arrow on the left side. Well, I lost that arrow. That's the entry point. So what we need to do is we need to designate this um, tab bar controller as... <coughs> oh, pardon me, I've been sick lately. <coughs> but uh, we got to designate this as the as the um, initial view controller. So what you can do is click on the tab bar controller. Make sure it's selected, right? So it's this one, tab bar controller. And then go to the attributes inspector. And where it says view controller here, there's a little checkbox that says is initial view controller. So just check that box and you'll see the arrow comes back. Okay. So now that we've got that, let's test it again. Oh, there we go. Hey, look, what do we get, right? That was pretty easy. We get a tabbed application, right? Now, it, the two views I have don't have anything in them, so I'm not seeing them change, but I'm actually going from one view to the next. And I think you can even, like, swipe across these, too. I think the tab bar thing lets you do It's not working for me, but uh, I think it'll do that. Anyway, um, there we go, right? So we got those guys set up. Okay, so now what do we do? What, what if we want to add um, another view? Like maybe I have two of these, but I want a third, you know, a, a third view. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. Uh, grab another view controller. You know, drag it in here, place it anywhere you think it fits, right? Okay, maybe I'll do this too. I'm going to make this view a little bit smaller. And I'll make it the 4 point or 3.5 inch phone size. And then that way... I'll just have a little more real estate to work with on my small monitor, okay? So anyway, so here we go, right? So I got my tab bar controller, and then here's this new view that's not connected, but I want to give this a tab on here and make it one of the views that we can visit from the tab bar. So what you'll do is you'll control drag or right click and drag from the tab bar controller, just right in here, over to your new view like this, okay? And then when you release, you'll get this menu, and it asks you about segues. And what you want to do is you want to choose this segue right here under Relationship Segue. It's got to be Relationship Segue View Controllers. Okay, so choose this one. And then now this guy will become a new view that's on the tab bar. And, of course, since we haven't set the icon, then for some reason the bar goes all gray. That's just what it does. Don't ask me why, okay? But again, you know, you can easily click on the item and choose an icon from the, uh, from the menu here. I'll make that bookmarks. Oh, and then now they all come back. Okay, so there we go. And now if I want to switch between these, you know, I can, you know, test my app and I can click on the icons and visit each of these views, right? Let's imagine now that you want to create some navigation. So imagine, you know, in this view here where it says bookmarks, I want to add some buttons right? Let's say I got three buttons there, right? And then these buttons are going to link to another view, right? So what we need now in order for this to work is this view needs to be wrapped in a, a navigation controller, okay? So the navigation controller is similar to the tab bar controller, but a little bit different, okay? Where the tab bar controller um, juggles a group of views that you can switch between from the tab bar, okay? The navigation controller keeps track of views sort of like the history in your web browser, okay? Right? Let me show you how it works without the navigation controller, okay? So what I'm going to do is, let's say this first button here wants to link to another view. So I'll put it here. Let's say, let's say I'm going to call this uh, button A. And then what I'll do is I'll just put a, a big letter A in here, right? Um, and I'll just make it super giant. There, 
right? So uh, there. Okay, so there's the letter A, right? I'm kind of putting it off because I didn't use any constraints. So I want to make sure that it's visible. Like if I put it over here, I might not be able to see it, right? You'd want to add all those constraints. I'm just trying to make the video short here, right? But but anyway, there's our there's our letter A, right? And then now I want to link from here over to here, right? So I'll control drag into the view, um, choose show as a segue, right? So I just control drag, let me do that again. I'm gonna control drag or right click and drag from the button into the other view, right? And then I'll choose action segue show, okay? So now we have a segue there, right? So when I click the play button or the run button, the test button, whatever we call that, right? The build and run or whatever it is, right? It builds our project. I'll go over to bookmarks. And now you can see there's my three buttons. And if I click the A button, you see the A view controller slides up from the bottom. Now, this is kind of a problem because it covers up the tab bar. It doesn't have a back button, so there's no way to get back to this view, right? So the, the, what's happening here is that this, this view is being displayed as a modal view, and a modal view gets displayed on top of everything else. Okay, it's sort of like, you know, it, it, modal views are, are used to ask a question, like rather than be part of the current navigation scheme. So you, you pop a modal view in front to like, you know, ask someone to set the mode of the software to, or to answer a question or something before they can move on or continue from where they were at, right? Um, so actually, this is not wrong. It's, it, as a modal view, it's doing exactly what it should do. The thing is, we don't want a modal view here, right? Like, we, we actually asked for a show segue, but the, the you know, um, the system is giving us a modal view. It's displaying it as a modal. And the reason it's doing that is because we don't have a navigation controller, okay? So what we need to do is we need to add a navigation controller to make this thing operate the way that we expect it to, okay? So what we're going to do is, and now, now if you got to follow how this is going to work, right? We just need one navigation controller for any navigation stream, let's call it, okay? So in the tab app, right, each one of these, you know, root views for the tab, you know, for, for each tab bar item, right, is going to be sort of one navigation stream. So everything that's under bookmarks is all going to be one navigation stream. Anything under favorites is going to be another, okay? Um, so, so we need a navigation controller to sit like in between here and this and this view, okay? And the navigation controller is a lot like the tab bar controller. It's sort of a, a, a view controller container, okay? So what we'll do is, and there's a shortcut for this. You can actually build this from the menu because on the menu here you can see navigation controller is an item that you can drag out. But the, since I've already set this up with all these other views, it's a, you know we'd have to kind of take things apart and then put them back together again if we use this one. So you know what? There's a really helpful um, item up here on the editor menu that we can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this view. So the first view, right? The first view here, right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to go to the editor menu, and choose embed in uh, embed in navigation controller, okay. And then what you're going to see is you're going to see that it it put a a new item here called the navigation controller in between you know the tab bar and the view controller here, and now our other view controller is right where it was before, right? So these guys all kind of run in like a little stream here, navigation controller, this view, and the next view. But but watch what the effect is now, okay? So this is going to be a lot different than what we saw a minute ago. So now here we are, and if I go to the, the, the bookmarks here, you can see there's my, my views. I get the navigation controller comes with the navigation bar, so I'm getting the navigation bar automatically now, okay? And when I click on the button A, you can see now it slides from right to left, and that's the kind of transition that we want to show that we're progressing into our project or we're going deeper, you know, like turning pages in a book or something, right? Instead of having it slide up from the bottom, right? 
and then this view doesn't cover everything because it's not a modal anymore, right? We're, it's actually using the show segue now. And then to top it all off, we also get the back button for free, right? So it automatically threw the back button in there. And then now I can click the back button to go back, or I could click on one of these to go to another view, right? And we're all done. Now, let me just do a couple other things here, okay? So what do you want to do and what do you not want to do here, okay? Well, for this one stream of links, which is really like these links here, okay? For all the navigation that we have here, we only need a single navigation controller, okay? So we don't add another one here. So if I want to add another view controller, like, you know, let's put one in here, and then maybe this is going to link from this button right here. We'll call it button B. I'll control drag down to here, say show, right? So here we don't need another um, another navigation controller, right? Because this guy's part of the navigation controller here, and all these guys are now going to use that same navigation controller. Okay, so let me put a let me put the let me actually just copy this letter A there and uh, paste it. Um, Maybe I can option drag it there. There we go, right? So I'll put this here and make it B. There we go, right? Okay. So so we got that. Here we'll test it again. Any moment now. Oh, there we go, right? Okay, so I'll go to bookmarks, there's button A, I get the navigation bar, the back button. I can go back, I can click button B, it goes to B, I get the back button again, and I can go back, right? So that's that's pretty easy, right? Um, you know, not not very hard to do, right? Um, so so one other thing, so, so once you have a stream of stuff, right, you only need one navigation controller for it, okay? You're always going to get the back button and the nav bar for free. You can turn the nav bar off um, if you don't want it. That's actually a little more difficult. If you just keep it there, it's going to show up and it's always going to work. Um, but you can turn it off too. Um, so the other thing that you're going to need to do is that when you have um, a another area, like one of these other tabs, like let's say favorites here, if this is going to have some navigation in it, then you need a navigation controller here. So essentially, you'd need a navigation controller for each one of these if there was going to be multiple pages underneath each of these tabs. But within the tab, we only need one navigation controller, okay? Um, so, you know, for example, like if we wanted to add some navigation to the favorite section, you might select this first, you know, the, the beginning view here and choose editor, you know, embed in navigation controller. And then now you've got your navigation controller and you can add other views and link them, you know. So if I had a button, you know, and I wanted to link to, let's say, another view controller here. You know, now that I've got the navigation controller there, you know, I can, you know, drag from my button over here and do show. And then now you're going to see that I would get the navigation bar and the back button and, you know, it would slide left to right just like it should okay so anyway that's that's how I think um, you know you could gives, gives you a pretty good idea of, of, of how to set up the um, the tab bar and the navigation controller okay so anyway thanks for watching and I hope that's helpful